Hello everyone, Jay Dublar here, and I'm going to have a little bit of fun today, so, um, just a little thing, I guess I'm going to have some fun, so I'm just going to bullshit around for a little bit, this is under random rant, number three, here's just random, um, I'm not going to go on about the tights, but I am going to ask a couple questions about tights, I think this covers it, tights, tights, okay, like I said, I'm not going to do the whole tights rant I'm, as I slowly fade. Watch, I'm going to move the camera so I don't fade out of this. And so I'll just... Woo! Hi, camera. All right. I am leaning back a little bit. Wait a minute. That's someone's actual thing. So let's move it this way. <laughs> I'm moving the camera a lot. Okay. Um. The reason why this is just a random rant is because I'm watching, I was watching a couple movies. And I'm not going to do a movie review because I don't have the ability to put the clips on here. No, my luck, I put a couple clips on here and it's going to say, oh, third person, third party things are trying to make money off of them. Oh, no, my God, not, not again. So, I'm watching a couple movies. And, like, my public service announcement initially stated for general people, the general public is being stupid. I'm watching this, and I'm watching people do some stupid shit. But this is what makes, this is what makes, you listening? This is what makes the bridge series for web, web, uh, web casting and what makes spoofs so funny. Because they're closer to real life reactions, they're closer to real life responses. And the reason why it's so funny is because you know half the shit that happens is half the shit that happens. Example, a killer shows up and they go after a girl. Instead of running outside, the girl's running around the table. Now, people know this when they used to play tag when they were younger. Unless your generation doesn't do that anymore. You know, outside, giving you cancer. You know, being outside in general gives you cancer nowadays. But as you're running around, for most of us who are a little bit older, who used to, who used to play outside, there's a game called tag, where you pretty much, a person who's it has to chase a group of people, and when they touch somebody, that person is now it. Usually there's no tag backs. So you, you feel safe. You're like, ah, tag somebody, I'm good. Sometimes they put a time limit, you're safe for like 10 seconds, and the person who sits counts really fucking fast. One, two, three, four, seven, nine, ten, you're it. What? But anyway, if you played outside, if you play tag outside, and you're near cars, guess what you used to do? You ran to the other side of the car before they got to you. So, like, here's a car. You're on one side, they're over here. And y'all just go around in circles. Well, I'm watching a movie where the killer jumps at a girl and she ducks him. So he hits the table and falls off. So she goes to her cooking table. And it's a table in the center of the little, it's like a little island in the middle of the floor. So she gets one side of the table, he gets the other. And they're literally running around each other, like this. She would stop and try to go back this way, he would go the other way. Every time he got fast enough to nearly catch her, she'd stop and go the other way, so he'd have to adjust and go back after her, which was funny to watch. Because you know, back in the day, that's what it was. It was, go on with that. Go, go, go. Go, go, go on with that. Go, go on with that. Stop, stop. Hey, hey you're not going to catch me. You're not going to catch me. Might as well chase someone else. Hey. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Uh, uh, oh, trying to go over. <laughs> nope, still faster. <laughs> And you just messed with people. That's all you did in playing tag. If you got to the other side of a car, you were just you were pretty much safe. As long as you're faster than them, you're safe. Unless of course you go around like the parents' car and then they just kinda hop over and you're like, what the fuck? Back to running. Now, you don't bring that up is because I guess I'm watching this movie. And the movie itself is not extremely hilarious. But it is funny, it's it's enough to make you go, <laughs> really? Like they're making fun of they they're doing a scene where they're making fun of, say, Grease. Where Grease is a musical, so well, any musical is about the same way. A situation falls perfect, and one of the characters starts singing and everyone sings with them and they all know the choreo choreography and all that. Like somehow there's a class to make sure you know all this. I think even South Park brought it up because, like, did we miss something? <laughs> I 
and seeing it on a movie is kind of funny to watch because the guy breaks into music. He breaks into song while his two buddies are staring at him. Just staring at him. Just And this guy is singing. I mean, he's going all out. He's dancing. He's jumping on stuff. Ah, and he's having a grand old time singing. While these other two people are looking at him like... Picture this if you will. Picture this if you will. You go to a store. You go to the store. Let's say today you're planning on getting a video game or something. Okay, let, let me be nice. Because not everyone goes for video games. Let's say today you're going to the store to get some soda. Get something to drink. You get something to drink. Maybe some coffee, some soda, an ice cap, squishy, slushy, whatever. You're going to get something to drink. You're walking home, you're going to stop in to get a drink. And you go in there, and you do what you need to do. You get it, and you go to the counter, and it's like, hey, I'd like to pay for this. And like, oh, it's 390 No, this is not 390 But let's just say, for instance, the price was $3.90. It's like it's three ninety. Once he says three ninety, the person behind you starts singing. I mean, singing. I mean, good singing. I mean, epically. Holy shit! It's Elvis fucking Presley behind you. <laughs> but they're singing three ninety. You got three ninety. Pay the fucking cashier three fucking ninety. And then you hear the other people in the background singing with them three ninety. Oh. 390 and everyone's just singing about 390 you're sitting here like what the fuck did I miss just pitch it up for a minute you're just sitting here and you're listening to this and even the cash is like that's right motherfucker 390 in my hand pay me the 3 fucking 90 in this hand not the left but the right give it to my hand 3 fucking 90 goes right in my hand and you're just sitting here like that's the probably the reaction you're gonna have is what the fuck happened here <laughs> just picture that for a minute just just, just 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 mentally blank it out you go to a store you go to buy a drink then you have one person behind you singing the rest of the group singing and then you turn to the cashier trying to ask what the hell's you're, you're trying to have a reaction and they're singing can you you can only imagine the level of what the fuck is going through your brain if that happened in real life if that happened in real life, <laughs> can you imagine what that would be in real life? A musical? Just, just picture a musical in real life. Weird, isn't it? Now, I don't mind movies and shows where like a monologue is sung. I don't mind that. A monologue being sung, I don't mind that. Okay? I really don't. But musicals, every fucking person is singing and dancing. Every person, every person. You don't even know why. I mean, if it's a narrator, a plot device, or a monologue, those three things are singing, it makes perfect sense. Like Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of Horror is one of those movies. I like it. It's a musical. I, I actually like that musical. But the first, the opening scene where everyone's singing, I'm just like, what the blue hell? And was there a day that it's like, okay, are you citizens of town? Yeah, okay, you've been subpoenaed. For what? For singing. I'm 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 sorry. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you've had that incident go through your head a couple times. Imagine in a dressing room. Imagine in a dressing room. You try it on a pair of, a pair of jeans or something. You look come out. You're like. Huh. I'm not sure this is my color. 
I got to. I got to. Sorry. I got to. You're not thinking that those jeans work for you, but that's okay because the color blue just doesn't go with your hair color this day, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, then you sit there and go, what the fuck was that? Before you can answer, one of the clerks come up out of nowhere and do the same shit to you. You're like, okay, do I get red jeans then? And in the middle of their song, they stop and go, actually, we do have red jeans. Try these on. I mean, it's one of those things where you sit there and go, how? And in the musical, things things add up in the end, but you just kind of sit there and go. Some of y'all people who know these lines shouldn't know these lines. <laughs> just shouldn't. Horror movies? I'd say horror. <laughs> Picture Friday the 13th as a musical. Yeah, just go ahead. Go ahead, I'll, I'll wait a minute. Go ahead. I'll wait. Go ahead. Friday the 13th as a musical. Go. Yeah. Jason singing is scary. Okay. I guess I'm gonna call this rant under musicals because, <laughs> oh my lord, real life musicals, holy crap.